Hey, what's up everyone? I'm DeFi Explained, here to bring you all the latest news and updates in the crypto world. Environmental concerns are an ever-increasing hot topic for discussion the world over. NFTs and crypto have also been a topic of discussion lately about their potential environmental impact. I'm here to give a deep dive into the big question, are NFTs bad for the environment? Let's get into it. As mankind becomes ever more concerned with the increased rate in CO2 emissions, cities and countries have been more concerned with mitigating their environmental impact. But what about crypto and NFTs? NFTs have become increasingly popular with blockchain technology transitioning our digital world into a digital metaverse. Does this transition come with negative environmental impact? In order for transactions to be valid on the blockchain, the network requires a complex mathematical equation to be solved. The only way for people to solve these complex equations is by using computers. Whoever's computer solves the equation first is rewarded with some crypto and the transaction is now valid on the blockchain. This is what's called mining. The miners are the owners of the computers that are mining blockchain transactions. Unfortunately, this proof-of-work model requires many computers with effective hardware to be powered by electricity resulting in an increase of energy consumption. The proof-of-work model has proved Proven that validating blockchain transactions is highly energy consuming. Statista shows that Ethereum energy consumption over the year 2021 exceeded that of some small countries such as Colombia or Czechia. A new form of validating transactions on the blockchain that shows promise of being more environmentally friendly is called proof of stake. Proof of stake takes away the need to have a powerful energy consuming computer that can mine as many transactions as fast as possible and shifts who gets to mine the transactions to an individual that has staked a large amount of crypto up front. That miner is then designated specific blocks that they're allowed to mine based on how much crypto they staked and their reputation as a reliable miner. Proof of work requires incredibly fast computers that require a significant amount of energy. Proof of stake on the other hand slows down this mad race to use the most energy to be the fastest and rewards those with credibility. The Ethereum network is taking steps to transition to this more eco-friendly proof-of-stake model and even shows in terms of size the energy consumption the Ethereum network uses in the form of buildings. The current proof-of-work method on Ethereum is the size of the Leaning Tower of Pisa in terms of energy consumption, and under the proof-of-stake method, the consumption size is that of a standard screw, which is drastically smaller. Let's talk for a second on how Ethereum reduces energy consumption is related to NFTs. OpenSea is the largest NFT marketplace in the world, with $100 million in volume being traded every day. All of these NFTs being bought, sold, and even just listed on the marketplace requires a miner to validate that transaction, which as you can imagine burns a lot in Ethereum gas. All of these transactions under the current proof-of-work model use energy, which is harmful to the environment. So. When later this year Ethereum switches to a much more energy efficient and environmentally friendly proof of stake model, when NFTs are bought, sold, and listed on marketplaces such as OpenSea, the energy requirements to validate these transactions on the Ethereum blockchain will be reduced drastically. I strongly believe that in order for NFTs and blockchain to really obtain mass adoption, the environmental impact is a factor that must be addressed. Now while we wait for Ethereum to clean up their act, let's talk about Solana. Solana is a blockchain like Ethereum, but Solana already uses the proof of stake method to validate transactions. To put it in perspective, one transaction on Solana consumes 0.00051 kilowatt hour or 1,836 joules of energy, whereas one transaction on Ethereum consumes 30 kilowatt hour or 126,000 joules of energy. The bottom line, there are energy efficient blockchains out there ready to be used right now. We just need the larger ones like Ethereum to follow suit so they too can reduce their environmental impact. 
As technology progresses and people find more ways of being efficient, I fully believe that the amount of energy being used on blockchain and NFTs will be drastically reduced in the near future. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more info about all things crypto and blockchain and NFTs. Let me know in the comments below what you think about NFTs and their potential environmental impact. Thanks for watching.